This is my sweet little mini Penny, and today she's getting a spa day, and we're going to give her the cutest, blingiest, most glam nails that you've ever seen on a paw. Hey, y'all. So I want to start off this video by giving a warning that this is not a tutorial because the products that I am going to use today is not pet friendly. It is my own human products. Now, before you go calling animal control, we're using human products on my pet's nails today because Minnie is getting ready to go to glory. So the toxins and whatever is in the polishings and stuff, that don't matter. We just trying to send her off like the bad bitch she is. So right now I'm cutting down her fur. Kind of like, okay, so I'm comparing this to kind of like pushing back the cuticles because I want to get as much of the nail to show as possible so we could put as many stones on here as we can and um it'll keep the gel from sticking to her fur as well so again do not use the products or do what i am going to do to your pet's nails now if you do want to do your pet's nails there is like little pins, polish pins, and caps that you can get. Just Google it, and they'll come up, and you at least could put color on your pet's nails. But I haven't found anything that was pet safe where you could put stones on it. I just haven't found that yet. It, it may exist. It may be out there. So, Minnie just got her little bath and whatnot because vets and books and common sense to tell you to spend your last well their last um days and hours with your pet doing what they like to do my little penny doesn't have any like favorite toys or interests she just likes sitting under me and getting pampered so that's what we're gonna do for her today now, on the regular, she will sit down like this and get her nails done, too. So, I kind of have an <laughs> exceptional dog. Most dogs, or most dogs that I've had, uh, don't like you touching their paws like this. But Minnie doesn't mind at all. She actually likes getting her nails done. Now, Penny is at least 17 years old. I've had her for 17 years. And she was probably at least, at the most, two when I got her, I don't know how old she was, but she was probably around two. So she's somewhere between 17 and 19. So she's an old gal. I hope I provided her with a happy life as she's made my life happy. So the plan is to bling out her front paws and um, the back ones. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna polish those um, and, and get her ready. So I stayed in an apartment complex in Atlanta, Georgia, and my neighbors downstairs had moved out. And when they moved out, they left their dog on the porch. They had an open porch. So she stayed around the porch for a while, and then she went off to the back of our complex, had a big wooded area, and she went into the woods. And she would come out every now and then and then go back to the apartment on the porch to see if they came back. But of course they never did. So me, my mom, and my neighbors uh, kept trying to catch her. But every time we tried to, she would run off to the woods. So we tried putting food and water out for her, at least to make sure that she ate, but also to try to lure her out as well. And she would come get a little something and then run right back to the woods. And then I guess she got tired one day. <laughs> After a couple of weeks of that, she got tired and she, she came on to my mama and looked at her like, Girl, I'm done with this. <laughs> I need a home. <laughs> so I took her in to clean her up, and she's been under me or my mama ever since. And right here, I'm just styling down her nails. None of this is necessary, like, at all. I'm just trying to make the process longer because, like I said, she likes getting pampered. So we're doing the unnecessary today. So now that we got her all filed down, I'm going to clip her with regular clippers. And... 
A strange thing about Minnie is she don't like the actual clippers that's made for dogs. She will only use, she only um, let me cut her nails with either regular clippers or like those those straight clippers. She she only deals with them. And I'm really not trying to take off any length. I'm just making them square uh, so she can have a nice shape to her nail. And I have like people in my life who don't get like why I care about my dog so much. Um, I had another dog, Bubba, we lost him last year, but they don't really understand like why do, why do you care? It's just a dog like this. These aren't, Minnie wasn't just a dog for me. Like when I moved to a state where I didn't know anybody, I didn't have any friends. Um, this is before my kids, before my husband, and when I was just in the loneliest parts of my life, my dogs were there for me. They were my best friends. So I'm going to be with them, you know, to the end. And that's it. Everybody else can kiss my entire ass if you don't understand that. Oh, well. Sorry to sound upset about that, but that just, it, it upsets me when, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> get emotional about my animals just to uh, get nice and smooth at the bottom trying to uh get her nice and square and pointy which is which you usually don't want <laughs> for your dog's nails but you know it's different so i took the shiniest polish that i had for a base coat and we're gonna put that on every nail on each side and this is so when I lay the stones down you know I don't have to cover everything but everything will be shiny you know so when I put it on as I put each one on I'm flash carrying it in between so they don't stick to each other or anything and then I'll throw it in the big lamp um, after so see how I cut that hair so I could go up a little further and this looks a little crisper. Crisper. I don't think crisper is a word. More crisp. I don't know. Whatever. And if I'm, I'm sorry, um, that sound down. I went back and forth on should I make this video or should I put this video out or not. And um this is this is therapy for me. So I, I just went ahead and said I'm I'm gonna put it out. Sorry to be Buzz Killington the third, but oh, that looks nice and shiny. It's cute. All right, so we're gonna take this rhinestone glue, which people don't put this on your pets. <laughs> and I'll start off with just some big stones. We're just gonna go big. Second one, right next to a big old stone. And the next little hand, I thought a pearl would be fitting. You just throw on some rhinestones. Oh, girl. Ooh, she might be getting agitated. Just put on some stones straight down. I can fit one more on top, so bam. Next paw, same thing, stones straight down. It's kind of hard for me to put them on the sides, so I didn't put them on the, the sides of her nails. Just straight down. Except for one, the outside nail. I, you'll, you'll see it. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. That could fit wood right there at the top. Mm-hmm. That thing to stay. There we go. All right. So on the opposite paw, I found that cute bow. So we gonna put this right here, and I'm gonna try to put it to where it looks like it's on two fingers, but it's really on one. Not fingers and nails. And this cute little star we gonna put on the side so she could hit him from all angles. <laughs> Yeah.
and I'm putting these um, rhinestones in these cute little like glass pieces that I found in my collection. I'm gonna start using these more. They're little like glassy nuggets. I can get this thing on. Oh gosh. Let's use this. And put everything back in its place. And grab a pearl. She's such a lady, and I look at pearls like so ladylike. So I think that's fitting. And more stones. Look at this set. She is so cute. I think they came out so well. We're gonna go outside and take some pictures now. And I'm so glad I did because she ended up passing two days later. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Love you, Penny. Bye. Love you, Penny. Bye. Bye.